Oh, hey there. So when I was a teenager, I had a friend and um, he wanted a pet snake. Now, maybe you'd know and maybe you don't know that snakes um, don't want to eat if they are moved, right? If their uh, home is moved for about a month or at least several weeks. And so the snake was in a pet store and it didn't eat for a while. And then he bought the snake and he put it in a cage in the living room of his parents' house. And it sat there for weeks and didn't want to eat because it was like, I don't know this place. I'm not eating nothing. But then his parents were like, get that out of here. Take it to your room. So then he picks up the cage and puts it in his own room. And guess what happens? The snake decides he's not going to eat some more. So now the snake hasn't eaten in, I don't know, six or eight weeks or something like that. So every day my friend would get a live mouse and hold it by the tail and put it down in the snake's cage and hit it right on the snake's head and be like, eat the mouse, eat the mouse you need to eat. And the snake would be like, get it away from me. I don't want, I'm not hungry right now. I, mm -mm, no, I don't like this place. And so he did that every day for a while and the snake wouldn't eat it. And so finally he's like, maybe he's just embarrassed because I'm around. And so he left a live mouse in a cage. So the cage is, you know, like not that big. And then you got the snake coiled up on one side and the mouse over there on the other side like this. With no mouse food or anything, just waiting for the snake to eat him. This went on, I don't know, for 10 days or something like that. And I just kept imagining like what that mouse felt like, just terrified in that cage. Just like at any moment, this snake could like get hungry looking at me because I'm the only food here and it could eat me. And this is not going to be pleasant for me. I'm going to die. But the rest of my life's not going to be good because I'm just going to be sitting here waiting to die. So I'm going to be waiting for that guy to get hungry enough to eat me. And that's the rest of my existence. And it was. And <clears throat> I feel like the way the media makes us feel is like the mouse in that cage. I feel like we constantly go around like, <laughs> it's about, the other shoe's about to drop, I'm about to die. And you're like, or not, you know, take a breath. We're not the only food in this cage. <laughs> There's other stuff going on. And in case you haven't realized this yet, the news and the media feeds off of your fear and off of chaos, okay? That's how they make their money. They're gonna have advertising, there's gonna be news every day of the year no matter what. And if there's not news, they're gonna embellish some other news so that you keep watching. And they're gonna have a bunch of subtitles and a bunch of crawls and text and graphics all over the place that let you know how afraid you should be because that way you'll keep watching because they're the only ones with the answers. And I'm just here to let you know, if I am a rat in a cage like that, I just don't wanna live my life like that. I don't wanna live my last days cower, cowering in a corner like that. Maybe you do, if you do, by all means, I don't think there's much we're gonna to do to stop it. I think the only way that we're gonna stop it is if everybody at the bottom just rises up and goes, no, we're not gonna do that anymore. We're not gonna to listen to you. We're not gonna live in fear. We're not gonna cower. We're not gonna keep doing all these things that you want us to do to kill ourselves. Because that's what's going on, okay? And behind all that, and behind all the media, there's a the devil like, <laughs> and he's like, if I just get them to kill themselves, then I don't have to do any of the work. And honestly, that's the only way it can work for him anyway. And so I'm just like, hmm. Hard pass. I think I will not be doing that. Thank you very much. And if I were you, I would do the same thing because I don't want to live my life like that. Love you guys. Have a great day.